This is a short video regarding the high availability features of R3 Corda. A virtual Corda node is comprised of multiple interacting components. There will always be at least one active transaction and flow engine, a database, and a file and message store. In this video, we will be demonstrating high availability Corda by the addition of a standby node and a load balancer. When we shut down the active processing engine and start up the backup, we will see that the processing is automatically diverted to the backup node without transaction loss, failure or error. All counterparty nodes communicating with our instance will see a short delay in processing during the failing over, but otherwise they will be unaware of our internal infrastructure changes. We have a simple bit of code here which is generating around 100 transactions and going to be sending them sequentially. The node address ends in dot sixty is the address for our load balancer, and effectively the node that all parties will communicate with, also named Corda HA. The other node address ending in dot one two five is our demonstration counterparty node. As we start the code generating the transactions, we can now see both nodes recording them in their respective ledgers. And as the nodes start up, we'll switch to a dual screen mode so that we can view the transactions appearing on both nodes. So now let's kill a processing engine. We're doing it through the Azure UI here, but of course this is also how it will work if a node dies without warning. We're going to look at the transactions view now to see the la latest and last transaction that's been created on the ledgers of both nodes. And we can see that the transaction processing has finally stopped. We can now connect to our secondary machine, view the logs to see uh, that the transaction processing has uh, resumed again. We're going to just have a quick look at the log file here. And we can see the machine has started processing transactions. We can also confirm this by looking at the transaction view on the web page of the demonstration app. We can also confirm transaction processing resu has resumed by looking at the console log file of the script we were running. Thank you for watching a short video about the high availability features available on R3 Corda.